Hey everyone, this is Steel with Studio Blue, and welcome to another RPG Maker tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make a rather elegant lighting effect where we have the shadow of an object appear on the floor. Uh, you can use this for inside or outside, uh, maybe have leaves coming through the trees in a forest, or uh, as we're going to have today, uh, the silhouette of a statue here on a dungeon floor. So the first thing you want to do is you want to have your map ready and pull it into Photoshop. Um, this is a parallax mapping tutorial, however, uh, you can use it on tiled maps as well as parallax maps. Uh, you're going to want to have your map ready so that it's time to add the lighting effects. So if you want to do any other parallax mapping shadows, you want to do those first. But for today, we're just going to leave the map as is. Okay, so then you're going to want to go to your tile set where the object you want to silhouette is. Grab your marquee, your marquee tool and grab the object, highlight it, copy, and you want to move back over and you want to create a new layer and we'll call that layer shadow object and you want to paste to that layer. Uh, then if this object has its own shadows we're going to remove those because we don't want the shadows to appear twice. So we select the magic wand tool Make sure the tolerance is somewhere around 2530 and make sure contiguous is on right here. Then we just select delete and select delete. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to turn this into a shadow. So the first thing we're going to want to do is flip it. So we go over here to edit, transform, flip, oop, sorry, flip vertical. There we go, flip vertical. Then we want to kind of get it in position, so we're going to put it over here. And then we want to go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness, and Contrast. Now we want to make sure Use Legacy is checked. We want to bring the contrast all the way down and bring the brightness all the way down as well. So now we have a black image on the floor. Now, real shadows, very few of them are pure black. In fact, really no shadows of pure black. So we're going to bring the opacity to about 50%. That's a nice solid shadow. All right, then what we're going to do is we're going to select the scale tool. So we go to edit, transform, scale, and we're going to kind of get it to the shape we want. So let's say we want to have it look, uh, that'll work. That'll work just fine. Then we select the Move tool, and again, we get it into position. Try to get it as, as centered as possible. All right, that'll work. Now we're going to create a new layer on top of the old layer, and we're going to call this Spotlight. Now we're going to go to our Marquee tool, and we're going to select Elliptical. Then we are going to take the Elliptical tool, and we're going to create a oval, an oblong shape, that fits over the silhouette. So there we go. Then we're going to come up here to select, modify, feather, and choose a feather radius of about 20. Then we're going to go here to our color selector, and this is the color I use for light right here. That's F7FFC2. But you can play around with the colors and use what other col whatever color you want to. This is the color I use for sunlight or natural light. Then we select the paint brush, right? I mean the uh, fill bucket right here, and we fill it. Then we bring the opacity down to 50%. So we have light, and the light is going over the shadow. As you can see, that's a little too well defined. So we want to have the light on top of the shadow. Then we want to come up here to create. Oh, we want to come up here and create another layer, new, and we're going to call this. Sun, uh, light beams. Then we want to create the we want to grab the polygon tool and we want to outline the area where our light beam is going to come in. So we're going to click here and we're starting up in this corner here where the light source is and then we want to go to the outside of the spotlight. Uh, the the uh, yeah the spotlight. Then we come here. Then here. And there we go. Then we want to go back to select. Modify, Feather, choose Feather of about 20, go to our Fill Bucket, 
and fill that up. Then we want to bring the opacity down to about 50%. Now we're not quite done yet. With the, we want the light beams on top. With the light beam layer selected, we want to write, we want to come over here to layer. We want to choose layer mask and reveal all. Then we want to change the fill bucket to the gradient tool. And we want to come up here to the gradient tool and we want to make sure that we have this sort of scheme here where it's 100% all the way to the left, 0% all the way to the right, And then at about 85%, we want to have it still be 100% so that it's going to be mostly opaque and then become a bit uh, attenuated down to full transparency. We then want to grab, we want to go up here to the top, and with the gradient tool selected, we want to come down here to about, let's go a little further, to about here. So now, as you can see, it starts off full and then it comes down and attenuates until it's not really shining here on the spotlight, but the spotlight is there. That creates more of a realistic lighting effect. And the last thing you can do with the light beam selected is you can grab the eraser and you can kind of erase a little bit around the object itself because the light is not going to shine directly on the object, on the back face of the object. So now it looks like the light rays are kind of poking around, attenuating to a spotlight. So that's pretty much it. Uh, this is a very basic tutorial. You can play around with the settings. Uh, you can play around with the shadows until you get a very uh, sophisticated and elegant looking uh, shadow and light system. And you can add many of these on the map. Uh, if using something like Cow's Overlay, uh, make sure to save it as light and the ID of the map. So if it's map22, light22.png. Uh, that's how you want to save those layers and, um, it, and then bring it into RPG Maker's Parallax Map folder and that way uh, Cows' uh, overlay uh, plugin will apply the light in the right place over the characters. Uh, that's pretty much it. If you like what you saw, go ahead and lay the smack down on the like button below. Subscribe to our channel. Uh, meet us up on Facebook, Twitter, and the RPG Maker web forums and we'll see you in the next video.